Hi friends, welcome to the Google TTS tutorial once again. In the earlier episode, we learned what Google TTS is and how to get it. In this episode, we will learn how to use Google TTS, how to change by default text to speech, default language, speech rate and pitch. We will also learn play and reset functions. Google text to speech is available on all Android smartphones. In case you don't find it, you may install it from the Google Play Store. Follow the first episode if you need to learn how to install it. Through Google Meet as an example, I have shown how to install any app from the Play Store. You will have to search by typing Google text to speech G O O G L E space T E X T space T O space S P E E C H. Download and install it. If you already have Google TTS on your phone, then update the app to get maximum benefit from the app. In the ninth episode, I have shown how to update apps. If you have kept the auto update feature on, apps will get updated automatically. However, it is a good habit to check for updates and please check for updates before you begin this tutorial. I had mentioned in the previous episode that there are two ways to access Google text to speech. If you follow the first method, it will differ depending on the device. I had talked to you about the first method in detail in the previous episode on how to go to accessibility and search for Google text to speech. I am now going to show you the second method which works similarly in almost all smartphones with talkback. Let us now go to text to speech using the second method. First, swipe down and immediately swipe right to open the global contact menu. I am now swiping down and swiping right immediately. Please listen. Alert global context menu. Read from top 1 of 10 in list 10 items. It says global contact menu. Read from top. We don't want this option now. I will now show you the options we need by swiping right. Read from next item 2 of 10. Repeat last utterance 3 of 10. Spell last utterance 4 of 10. Copy last utterance to clipboard 5 of 10. Screen search 6 of 10. Talkback settings 7 of 10. Text to speech settings 8 of 10. All of you have heard the text to speech option, right? I will double tap and open the text to speech settings. Text to speech output. Navigate up button. Here is another screen which says text to speech output. I am on the first control. Let me swipe left and show you. There is nothing here which means it is still at the beginning. Let's see what features are there in detail. Text to speech output. First, the name of the screen is text to speech output. We can also search settings directly when I swipe right. Search settings. If we know what settings we want, we can go directly to settings. Let's swipe right and see. Preferred engine, Google text to speech engine, one of six in list six items. See, here it is saying preferred engine Google text to speech because I have already set Google TTS as the default. If you want to change Google TTS to any other app, you can do so by double tapping on it. When you double tap on the button, it will show you all the text to speech engines. Preferred engine, navigate up button. I have double tapped, so now let us swipe right. Preferred engine, search settings. Let's swipe right now. Ticked radio button, Google text to speech engine 2 of 7 in list 7 items. If you have selected, then it says Google TTS is ticked. So Google TTS has already been selected. Let's swipe right. Not ticked radio button, auto TTS 3 of 7. Now auto TTS is not ticked. You can change it to auto TTS if you don't want to use Google TTS. I will change and show you how to do so. Let me double tap on not tick. Alert attention. This speech synthesis engine may be able to collect all the text that will be spoken including personal data like passwords and credit card numbers. It comes from the auto TTS engine. Enable the use of the speech synthesis engine. The talkback is alerting us that when we double tap on auto TTS engine, it can collect all data including all personal data like password and credit card numbers. I will tap on the OK button by swiping right. Cancel button. If you press on cancel, the auto TTS will not be set up, so I will click OK. OK button. I will double tap and click OK. See, 
Now the talkback voice has changed because I kept this voice as a default voice in Auto TTS. Now we need Google TTS and not Auto TTS. So I will now set Google TTS as the default. I will swipe left. When I double tap, we heard not ticked Google TTS. Using Google Text to Speech Engine, ticked. Now it has again set Google TTS as the default. First, set Google TTS as a default engine by following this step. Then follow the tutorial. You will have to follow this method to shift to any TTS or text engine. Not ticked radio button auto TTS 3 of 7. I will now go back by swiping down and then left immediately. Text to speech output. Preferred engine Google text to speech engine 1 of 6 in list 6 items. Here it says preferred engine Google TTS which we have already set as a default text engine. Let's swipe right and look at all the available options. Settings button. There is an option called settings which Google TTS needs. Let's take a look at this later. Let's swipe right again. Language use system language 2 of 6. Here is an option use system language. You can double tap on this and change the system language. It is now using the language that we have set. Let's double tap on this and see. Alert language. Ticked use system language 1 of 54 in list 54 items. Here the system language is fixed. We can choose any language to set as a default language. Let's swipe right and look at the available options. Arabic 2 of Bengali, Bang, Bengal, Cantonese, Hong Kong 5 of 54. Some of the languages available are Bengali, Arabic, etc. Let's swipe right till we get English. Chinese, Chinese Czech, Danish, Dutch, Net, Eng, English, India 12 of 54. Here we have English, India. You will find English, Australia if you swipe left. Let's double tap and try it. English Australia 11 of 54. Now we have set English Australia as a default language. We can also set the system language as the default language. I have set English India as a default language. If we set the system language as default, it will read with Indian accents when you open Google. You can set system language or any other language you wish. I have set system language because it has an Indian accent by default. If you have another system language as default, you can choose an Indian accent. I have now said English Australia, but let us change it to English India. Let's swipe right. Navigate up button, text to speech output, search settings, preferred engine, Google tech, settings button, language, speech rate, language, English Australia 2 of 6, alert language, ticked English Australia 11 of 54 in list 54 items, alert language, ticked English Australia 11 of 54 in list 54 items. Let's double tap on English Australia. English India 12 of 54. Then double tap on English India. Text to speech output. Language English India 2 of 6 in list 6 items. This is how you can change languages. Let's look at other options by swiping right. Speech rate 4 of 6. Here we have an option called speech rate which means how fast the talkback speaks. Let's swipe right and check what the speed is. 25% speech rate seek control. It is a 25% speed control. We can either increase or decrease the speech rate. Press the volume up key to increase the speed and the volume down key to decrease it. Let's increase and see what happens. 31% speech rate seek control. 31% speech rate seek control 4 of 6. It has now come up to 31%. You'll hear the difference if you further increase it. Let's try to see what happens if we keep it at 55 to 60%. 36% speech rate seek control. 41% speech rate seek control. 46% speech rate seek control. 51% speech rate seek control. It is now speaking faster and faster. Let us now decrease the speed rate by bringing it down to 25% by pressing the volume down key. 46% speech rate seek control. 41% speech rate seek control. 36% speech rate seek control. 31% speech rate seek control. 25% speech rate seek control. This is how you can change the speech rate. The next option you will find is pitch when you swipe right. Pitch 5 of 6. Pitch means the pitch at which the talkback is speaking. You can set it either as high or low pitch. Let's swipe right and check what pitch it is at right now. 20% pitch seek control. It is already at 20%. 
we can press the volume up button to raise the pitch. 25% pitch seat control. 30% pitch seat control. 35% pitch seat control. You can use the volume down button to lower the pitch. 30% pitch seat control. 25% pitch seat control. 20% pitch seat control. 15% pitch seat control. 10% pitch seat control. 5% pitch seat control. Here it is at 5%. 10% pitch seat control, 15% pitch seat control, 20% pitch seat control. Play button 6 of 6. When you swipe right, you get an option called play. If you have done all these settings, you can play and check and it will play a sample test. You can also check the voice by tapping on the play button. I will now double tap on the play button. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. You heard how the voice is. Let's swipe right now. Reset button. Here is a reset option. This is not so important to us. This is the last control on this screen. These are the options in this episode. In this episode, we have seen how to use Google TTS, how to access the text-to-speech settings in detail. We will continue with the Google TTS tutorial in the next episode and learn about specific settings in Google TTS. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We will meet in the next episode. Until then, goodbye.